What did we learn about last week? Do you remember? We talked about if something is inflated, it's what? Full of air. It's got air in it. See, kind of like my balloon here. And if it's deflated, is it is it big or is it flat? Yep, it's flat. So I have here an experiment, and we're going to try this. It's called a rocket balloon. And I tied a piece of yarn, two different chairs, and we taped, put some the yarn through the straw, and then I taped over the straw. So now the balloon is just hanging from the straw. I'm going to take, it's called a binder clip. It's holding the air in. When I let go of the air on the end of the balloon, what do you think is going to happen? I'm hearing lots of great answers. Okay, I'm going to let go. One, two, three. <laughs> it went speeding across the yarn. Do you know why? What was inside of the balloon? Yeah, there was air inside of the balloon. And as the air came out, the balloon moved across the string. As soon as the air was gone, the balloon did what? It stopped. So let's see what other things we can move with air. When we, the air moves, it's called wind. If you have a book or if you have a piece of paper sitting next to you, fan yourself. Can you guys feel the air moving? That's wind. It's like the wind outside. So you can move the wind fast, or you can move it slow. You're making wind. So I'm gonna see, see these blocks over here? I'm gonna see if I can make them move with the wind from these papers. What happened? Yeah, they all fell over. Why do you think that was? The air, it moved the blocks. So those blocks were close, the dominoes were close. What if I put them way far away, but I keep the wind over here by me? Are they gonna move? Not blown over, are they? What if I put one close to me and leave the other two over there. What do you think will happen? Can you predict? Those are some good thoughts. Let's see. Let's try it and see. What happened? The blocks that were closest to the wind fell over. But the block that wasn't closest to the wind, it stayed standing. The, it, the wind blew them over. Let's see what happens if we move this. What if we move it over the top of the block? What happens? Do you think it will fall or do you think it'll stand up? Oh, it fell over too. If the wind's strong enough and, and close enough, it will blow them over. So, what did we learn today about the wind? What happened to the balloon when I let go of it? It, with the air going out of it, pushed the balloon forward. What happened when the air went out of it? What happened to the balloon? It stopped. You're right. What was inside the balloon? What was that called again? Air, yep. And how did we make the air move? How did we make the, the air move? Do you remember? Did we fan ourselves with a book or papers? Yep. And how did we make the dominoes fall down? Did they just fall over? Nope. We had to make wind. Oh, there they go. They all fell over again. So when you go outside next time, and you feel the air blowing your hair or your coat or whatever's around you, remember, that's the wind. It's the air blowing around us. We can't see it, but it's all around us all the time. Well, that was fun. We'll see you guys next Friday and see what else we can figure out. We're going to learn something new about air. So.
come ready to learn. We'll see you next time. Bye.